Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about gym motivation. So today when I got off of work, I really wasn't feeling motivated to go to the gym or be active. I was really tired after working all day and my head hurt and I just felt like grabbing a snack and watching a show or watching a YouTube video. But I finally did gather the motivation to get myself to go to the gym. I changed, I put in my earbuds, turned on some music, went down to the gym and smashed out a pretty good workout. And I feel awesome after it. And I'm honestly glad that I didn't skip out on my workout because I, I know that I would have regretted it in the long run. So today I wanted to talk about what I do when I'm not feeling very motivated to go to the gym. So with that said, let's move on to tip number one. Tip number one for me is to have a playlist full of hits that really get you going to the gym. I personally have a playlist of a bunch of really old songs that I love to listen to. Whenever I'm not feeling motivated, I automatically go to that music and it always gets me really excited for a workout every time. If you don't have a playlist like that, then there are tons of really awesome playlists on Spotify or on Apple Music whatever platform you use. There are some really, really good playlists out there. And if you can't find any music that you're really feeling at the moment, you can always turn on a podcast. I love listening to podcasts when I'm doing cardio. There are some podcasts that are so interesting that they just suck you in and you forget that you're even doing a workout. So I really love listening to podcasts while doing cardio. The second little tip I have is to do activities that you love. If you don't like yoga, then odds are you're not going to be very excited to go to a yoga class first thing in the morning. I personally love running, and so I look forward to the little time that I have carved out in my day where I can fit in a run. There are also so many fun fitness classes out there, so I encourage you to go out and sign up for one. Especially if you like working out in a group setting, these fitness classes can turn out to be incredibly fun for you. Usually they have great music playing, and it's really motivating to work out with others. I find that when I work out with others, I'm a lot less likely to go easy on myself. So I would definitely encourage you to try out at least a class or two. Fitness can be so incredibly fun, but if you've been doing the same thing over and over again for the longest time, it'll get very old and odds are you won't want to do it. So you definitely want to make fitness a fun part of your daily routine. Along with making fitness fun, you should also try to make it convenient. If you've had a really busy day and you can only fit in a 15 to 20 minute workout, that's totally fine as well because there are so many videos and resources out there that can provide you with a really good 15 to 20 minute workout that you can squeeze in right at home. Some of my favorite fitness YouTubers are Pamela Reif and Caroline Gervin. They have really great workout videos on their channel and their workouts can be really challenging, but they can also be super fun and rewarding. Another way to get motivated to go to the gym is to get dressed in active wear ahead of your workout. On days where I'm feeling a little bit lazier, I'll make sure to get dressed in my active wear a few hours before going to the gym because I know that if I'm dressed already for the gym, then I'm much more likely to go ahead and get my workout in. Going along with this, you should also get yourself some really cute workout outfits that you really enjoy wearing. If you have some really cute workout gear or if you feel really confident in a certain outfit, then you will be much more likely to go to the gym and to feel really cute while working out. For example, I got myself these really cute Sarah's Day White Fox uh, leggings and I really love working out in them. I feel really confident in them. I feel like they look really good at the gym. And so I'm always really excited to wear these to the gym. So I would highly recommend getting a few gym outfits that you really, really enjoy wearing. The next tip that I have for you revolves around discipline. In order to go through with your workouts most of the time, you need to create a workout routine that you really enjoy and that you really look forward to fitting into your daily routine. I am at the point in my life where I've been working out for quite a long time and my daily workout has just become a regular part of my day to the point where if I don't work out, then I feel like something's off. So you want to incorporate your workout into your daily routine in a way that makes it 
feasible and that makes it fun. Ultimately, you want to make it really easy for you to follow through with your workout. But if you're someone who is very new to working out, of course, you want to start slow. So you don't want to go from working out zero days a week to suddenly working out seven days a week. That just wouldn't be realistic and you'd get burnt out very quickly. So you could start with working out, for example, three days a week and then gradually increase to four. Really just listen to your body and ensure that you're not overdoing it. And if you do work out most days of the week, you want to make sure that you're incorporating active rest days into your routine as well. It's really important to have those rest days because if you don't, you are more, much more likely to get injured. Another helpful tip is to write out your goals on paper. When you see your goals daily, you'll remember why you started and why you want to work out and how beneficial it is for you and your body. Maybe your goal is to build some muscle or maybe your goal is to lose a bit of weight. Either way, it'll be really helpful for you to have those goals written down on paper. And every time you'll see them, you'll become a little bit more motivated to get that workout in. But those are all the quick tips that I have for you for today on how to get motivated to go to the gym. I am not perfect at this, and there are certainly some days where I feel that it would be best for me not to go to the gym. And in that case, I do listen to my body and I give myself an active rest day. But more often than not, I will break through my excuses and I will make my way to the gym. Getting exercise in is so good for you and it's so rewarding and beneficial to your body. So you want to make a way to incorporate working out and being active into your daily life. But that is all I have for you for today. So I will be seeing you soon in my next video. Bye.